In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the recent developments in the research on bird strikes on aircraft, and we'll be talking about you know how many bird strikes happen a year, um, the damage, you know, and what's being done to sort of avoid this, and you know the, the new problems that have uh, surfaced as a result of the research that's being done. So, uh, welcome to Bizjet TV. My name is Fabrice Sapori. I'm your host and aviation advisor. If you haven't subscribed to Bizjet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. And you may have noticed that a lot of the videos that are available in the past have now become exclusively only available to those that are Diamond members. And we are producing content now every week exclusive for Diamond members. And we're doing a whole series now on spreadsheets on aircraft. So every aircraft will bring up a spreadsheet. So far we've done the Honda Jet and we've also done the Global Express where we look at the spreadsheet and go item by item and explain all the costs involved in operating the aircraft and that's just for diamond members so if you want to become a diamond member click the join button below it's just nine dollars 99 a month and um, you help to uh, you know help uh, sustain this channel as well and if you like this episode also give me a super thanks at the end but anyway let's get into today's episode about bird strikes and the developments um, in the research and that so first of all there are 35 bird strikes a day worldwide so that's quite a few and that amounts to over a billion dollars in damage a year. Now, some of these birds may hit the windscreen. They can hit the engines. There's all sorts of uh, things. And this is why, for example, there is a speed limit below 10,000 feet of 250 knots. Uh, that's to sort of avoid the birds. Um, interestingly enough, uh, they discovered during the research that birds tend to be attracted by dark colored aircraft. So don't paint your aircraft black. Uh, keep it white. Uh, because black aircraft uh, hit more birds than white aircraft, interestingly enough. Uh, also, the birds tend to like red lights, so they tend to uh, go for the, for the red lights on the airplanes. So again, that seems to be a color that they're attracted to, so don't paint your airplane red. Um, and yeah, uh, this is uh, sort of things that have been going on. Um, the other problem today is that aircraft are getting faster and they're getting quieter. So those of you that are promoting, you know, the electric aircraft, this is going to cause a problem because they're very quiet um, and also speed of aircraft. Uh, but they have been doing a few experiments and Qantas did an experiment on their 737s. They put some uh, in pulse lighting on the aircraft and the 737s that were flying around with the pulse lighting had 24% less bird strikes. So obviously, that's the route that we need to go down. And that's the route that we are going down in developing a type of light uh, that can be put on this. Now, interestingly, Qantas saved themselves a million dollars a year in, in, in damages because of this uh, pulse lighting that was put on these 737s. Um, and so this is what they're doing now is they're developing a light that they can put on all aircraft that will scare the birds and keep them away. Um, and this, you know, obviously, as we're moving towards um, electrifying aviation, uh, this type of lighting uh, will be installed on these aircraft as well as on the others. So that's where we're going. So interesting to see 34 bird strikes a day, which amounts to over a billion dollars a year. Um, and some of these, you know, I've had a few bird strikes myself. Um, no major damage, though. A few went through the engines. One kind of sat and was cooked inside the engine once. Um, but the, 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 the stator vanes weren't damaged, fortunately. Um, and so, you know, that, that happens. Um, this happens in particular if the airports are near water. I tend to get a lot of birds in some airports. What they're doing is they're, they're letting the grass grow uh, because longer grass, uh, it's more difficult for the birds to land in. So they tend to keep away. Uh, over at Gatwick Airport in England, they, they, they covered the, the water which was nearby, uh, which was used for the fire brigade. Um, and that was to keep the birds away. So some airports are doing things. There's also scare technology they have. They can shoot or, or they've got even drones in some airports to scare the birds away. But as a pilot, uh, what you can do, and I'd say look out for these new this new lighting, which is being developed and should be coming out in the next year or two, which you can install on your aircraft, uh, which will help to keep the birds away. Because this is something completely unpredictable. Um, you know, and these birds can come at you very quickly. Um, sometimes you don't even you just got no time to avoid the bird and the bird's got no time to avoid you and so it hits you um and you know a lot of aircraft and helicopters have crashed as a result of hitting birds so this is kind of uh, the problem with the bird strikes but the problem is being solved which is good and that's good news and uh, that's all from me on this episode remember to subscribe to bizjet tv if you want to become a diamond member it's 9.99 a month I click on the join button below and you'll get access to exclusive content which we are developing now every week for diamond members only 
And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please comment below. Any suggestions and recommendations, we'd much appreciate. And that's all from Lisa Polly on BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.